Welcome to Chapter 7, Ionic Equilibria, 7.3, Solubility Equilibria. Let's continue to define and explain common ion effect. Common ion effect. Okay, so what is common ion? Com common ion is an ion that is common to one or more components in a mixture of a solution of ions. Okay, for example, when sodium chloride and potassium chloride are dissolved in the same solution, the chloride ions are common to both salts. In a system containing sodium chloride and potassium chloride, the chloride ions are known as common ions. Common ion effect is a shift in an equilibrium induced by an ion common to the equilibrium. Okay, for example, what does this mean? This means that, for example, if I add potassium chromate, then potassium chromate will dissolve into potassium ion and chromate ion. So these two lead chromate will dissolve and produce chromate ion as well. Potassium chromate will also have chromate ions as well. So means that now chromate ion, the concentration has increased. So there will be a shift of equilibrium induced by an ion common to the equilibrium. The ion common effect also affects solubility equilibria. Le Chatelier principle is followed for the shift in concentration of products and reactants upon addition of either more products or more reactants to a solution. The solubility of a slightly soluble ionic compound is lowered when a second solute that furnishes a common ion is added to the solution. The, ion, the common ion effect is frequently used in analytical chemistry to determine such things as the percent of an element present in an unknown sample. Okay, now let's look at this. Okay, just now we use this example, lead chromate partially dissolve, and then we'll get lead ion and chromate ion. Okay, so for example, if now I add in potassium chromate solution, so my com I will have Cr2O4 2 minus ion as well. So this two will be the common ion. Thus, the concentration of chromate ion increase, and according to Lee Chatelier principle, the equilibrium position will shift to the left to reduce the concentration of chromate ion. And thus, at equilibrium, more solid will be formed, or we say more precipitate will be formed. Thus, you can see in this diagram, after the equilibrium is reached, when potassium, potassium chromate is added to the lead chromate solution, you will see there will be more solid. Okay, thus solubility decrease. Okay, let's look at one example. What will happen to the solubility of silver chloride if sodium chloride solution is added to the saturated solution of sodium chlor uh, silver chloride? explain. Okay, so silver chloride will partially dissociate into silver ion and chloride ion. When we have sodium chloride soluble salt is added, it will dissociate into chloride ion. So we can see these two equation. The common ion is the chloride ion. Thus, the concentration of chloride ion increase. According to Le Chatelier principle, the increase in chloride ion will cause the position of the equilibrium to shift to the left. Okay, because when concentration increase, in order to go back to equilibrium, we need to reduce the 
concentration. Thereby, when it shifts to the left, when it shifts to the left, more silver chloride is formed, or we said that more silver chloride will precipitate. So at the same time, solubility of silver chloride will decrease. Okay, so again, for common ion effect, what do we need to take note? Write the reaction equation, reversible reaction equation for salt. Okay, then remember it's reversible because it only dissociate, uh, it only partially dissociate. And then when we add another soluble salt, okay, we also write the equation and it is fully dissociate, completely dissociate. And we look for which one is the common ion, means which has the same ion. For example, here is chloride. So when the common ion concentration increase, then we know it will shift to the left. When we see solid here means there will be more solid form. When more solid form means more precipitate and also means that it will become less soluble or we say that solubility decrease. Okay, so that's all for common ion effect.